Hey, what's up? It's Sam Rules 14 here, back with some more Kerbal Space Program. And today we are making a space station. And we'll just be adding two parts to the space station because this is my first time trying to rendezvous and dock two points in space. And I actually think it went pretty well. Uh, let's just watch the video. I made sure to speed it up because I recorded for about eight hours and I'm only using about a hundred one hour and 20 minutes of it and then after speeding it up and cutting a few parts out I'm at about 10 minutes and 30 seconds which I think is a lot better than watching two hours of somebody playing Kerbal Space Station. So you can see I start out with a basic rocket it took me about 30 minutes to, to design and I want to get about a hundred meter orbit around Kerbin but it turns out that I ended up with 500,000 meters away from Kerbin after a slight mistake but I think it turned out better because now when I have some space probes and landers to send into space they can actually go far farther after reaching the space station because it'll be easier to escape Kerbin's uh, gravitational pull. So you can just see me testing out with these maneuver nodes and to get a maneuver node you right click it and then you can kind of adjust the nodes back and forth to get where you want. I mainly use the green nodes because I don't really need to move the orbit sideways or up and down. I just need a good wide orbit. If you do set a maneuver node, make sure you adjust your ship so it's aimed towards the blue dot, as you can see at the bottom of mine. And then when it tells you to thrust, thrust fully until that bar on the right is gone. And there we go. It's in space. Let's get rid of the liquid fuel boosters. And there we go. There's our first module in space. Great. Now for the second the second part, I use the same ship with a few small adjustments. And I'm actually going to talk about the launch. I have solid fuel boosters that I detach first. After that, I detach liquid fuel engines. I mean fuel canisters. And detach the second liquid fuel canisters. And then detach the main booster. I only use one engine and four tanks, and I have the tanks in series. Um, if you want to watch a video about this, look up Asparagus, uh, Asparagus Kerbal Space Station, and I'm sure you'll be able to find the correct engine that I'm using here. I also turn my spaceship 45 degrees to the east when taking off, um, right when the light blue atmosphere reaches the dark blue atmosphere. Uh, and you can see this at the top of your screen when you are in the takeoff mode. And by doing this, it makes it a lot easier to get into space and create an orbit. And I didn't know that you could use this, but after using it, I'm very happy. So you can see me, I'm just trying to line up the two orbits of the space station module and the main st space station control point. And after that I'll figure out a way to rendezvous with it. But for now I just want them lined up. So using the maneuver nodes I decide to get a good close orbit to the one I already had. And once I'm happy with my orbit I boost towards it and then I start to decide how I want to rendezvous with it because you can see I'm trailing it right now so for me to catch up to it uh, this is a trick I also learned online that is makes a ton of sense what you want to do is just make it so your orbit cuts inside of the original orbit so you're speeding up and they're going a little bit slower and you can see they're lining up perfectly now and then once you get a good 
orbit going, you can readjust your orbits so they line up once more. And this will take you a few tries if you're new to the game. It did definitely took me a few tries. I'm only showing two launches when I originally had about uh, 20, 25 launches. 20 launches, yeah, that seems right. Maybe a little less, but it was, nonetheless, it was uh, very difficult to do this. So I'm happy with this rendezvous point. And I actually miss it right there, but it's okay. I'll just wait it out to reach the next point. And you can see I'm in real time now and I'm trying to find the space station. And to do this better, you can aim your, your shuttle at the space station by lining up with the pink dots either side and then look at both sides and you can see it's right there 30 kilometers away the view space station so once you find your target you want to aim your ship at retrograde and start burning until your velocity lines up with the space station or probes velocity and you can see this right in the middle above your navigation ball and once it's at about zero you want to readjust Okay, it's not at zero yet. I'm burning at retrograde, which is the green one with the X in the middle. Once it's about close to zero, you want to burn towards your target by burning towards the pink uh, circle one. Make sure not to go too fast when doing this, or else you could pass by it. And you can see I get rid of my liquid fuel canisters but you don't actually need them when you're this close um, you can just use your RCS boosters and to do this you use H N J K keys and I didn't actually know that you could use your RCS uh, manually until a few tutorials showed me that's your only way <laughs> of getting to a docking port easily you can see I passed the space station. I'm now trying to go back towards it. Um, and there we go. I line it back up at zero meters per second, just about, and then burn towards the space station. And I pass it once more. I am still very new to this uh, this game, even though I played about 25 hours now, and it it's still very challenging, and it should be because you are trying to get a rocket into space. <laughs> but don't be discouraged; just keep trying, and you'll eventually make it. You can see every once in a while, I realign away from uh, boosting towards the space station to burn at retrograde so that I have a more accurate uh, flight path towards the view space station. And you can see here, I, I learned from my mistakes. I'm only going about one meter, 1.5 meters per second. At most I go about four, but nothing more than that. I wanna be very controlled here. And I started getting really anxious here because I've never gotten this close to another thing in space because I am still very new to this game. You can see I'm almost there, going very slowly, less than one meter per second. And then when you get close enough, change it to 0, 0.0 meters per second and realign. So I didn't realize this until a little bit after that I have to align the bottom part of this rocket, well now the top part of this rocket, oh now the bottom part of this rocket, with the top part of the space station. And I only noticed that right now, and so I slowly, 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 slowly boost up to the top. And you can actually set certain objects on a piece as a target, and I set the top, the, the clamp at the top as the target so it's easier to aim towards it and you can just aim towards the pink and that will aim you directly towards uh, the clamp <laughs> you can see I miss it there and kind of bounce off of it 
and readjust. If you want the magnets to actually work to bring your two ships together to dock, make sure you turn off SAS just before clamping. And a little laggy, but there we go. And I'm just going to readjust the ship so that the ladders line up. Make sure you boost far enough away so that they actually relock into each other. I didn't know you had to do this, so I redo it there. And bam. The View Space Station. The core is now in space, but I realize it's only labeled as a, uh, a, a space ship instead of a station. So you have to make sure you right click on the cockpit and choose rename vessel and click station just like it did there and then click OK. And we are done. We got a space station parts into space and connected them. Make sure you check back on Friday where I make more uh, Kerbal space program videos and I will finish off the space station next time. Thank you. And subscribe. Oh yeah. So you knew that. Do that though. And like the video. Might as well. No.